Hey, good evening. It's really amazing to have you here. My name is Daniel. I was a professional opera singer and beatboxer. And tonight we're gonna be listening to In the Air Tonight by Voice Play. This was recommended from Margie Stevens who donated to the channel. And that really means a lot, honestly, especially before I even have my Patreon up and running. So the fact that someone would even donate to this channel and donate to what it is that I'm trying to achieve with it. It means so much. So thank you so much, Margie. And and I really just wanted to make sure that I got to your request as, as soon as I could. So with that said, we're just gonna jump right into this. I love Phil Collins's music. Obviously the Tarzan soundtrack is just incredible, but even beyond that, Phil Collins is an amazing composer. So I'm just really excited to jump into this and I hope you guys are too. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Magic, dude. Oh Lord. And I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord. Oh. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Dude, it's all been a pack of lies. And I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh my god, dude. Their charisma is crazy. That bass. Well, I remember. I remember. Don't worry. Oh, Lane. Yeah. How could I ever forget? It's the first time. The last time that we ever met. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. 
Oh my gosh! Oh. Well, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord. I've been waiting yeah. for this moment for all my life. Oh, oh chills. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Where do I even begin with this? Something that I really love about the structure of this piece is just the fact that they didn't rush into any powerful forte fortissimo, full chest everything right off the bat. And they didn't even do it right in the middle of the piece where you would reach typically some kind of musical climax. This piece was very contained, and it wasn't really until closer to the end of the piece that they really just ramped it up and not only had these echo effects, but it almost felt fugal in a way. And fugues are where, typically in classical music, fugues are where you have a running line. And an example of it could be, row, row, row your boat, row, row, row your boat, row, row, row your boat. And just having those lines go off where it's the same line, it's just started at different points. And when you get all of these pushed together, at some point, it's all going to just come together. That Kronk meme of, oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> no, it's having that kind of structure where you don't lay your all your cards out at one time. And I mentioned this in another video, the idea of the art of seduction, where if you really want to pull people into what it is that you're trying to do, trying to perform for them, then you need to develop some kind of air of mystery, some kind of shroud or, or veneer that sheathes your, your true intentions. And that really captivates people. It allows them to willingly play a game of, well, this kind of mystery is so intriguing and captivating, and I'm entranced by it. So for the fact that there was growth throughout that beginning and middle section of the piece, it, it still didn't push outward that much. The beatboxing was so consistent, and there were so many just smaller technical aspects that I'm really excited to dive into. But just, oh my gosh, like, Caesar and Jay Nunn's voices were just, were just butter. Just butter. I mean, all of their voices were butter, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Like, Ellie's voice was just so smooth, but... Oh my gosh. Ellie's voice was so smooth. In Jeff's low note, at during his solo line, it wasn't pushed out like he normally does, where it's just this really powerful subharmonic bass. It was rugged and had this coarseness, this grit, but it was just... It was very soft. It was very delicate. Don't get me wrong. I love feeling that bass sensation in my ears. It's a very satisfying feeling for sure. But just to get this variation on it, this very subtle, very gentle, but still well-supported bass. Mm, yeah, that, that feels good. That feels really good. Let's just jump into the analysis. I'm so excited for this. The effect on the voice here, but just really distorting it, perverting it into something. Like this entire aesthetic right now is very much a really worn down VCR tape. <laughs> and the audio reflects that, except for that bass line, which is very clear and very sultry, but also very quiet. Mezzo piano or piano or medium soft to softness. It's, it creates a good flow off the bat, but ah, oh, so nice. And the snaps here are actually a really great choice because you get this kind of siren-ish melody line with this really consistent bass line, but it's just still flowing. And the snaps just add a really great crispness, a new kind of texture to this fine dining audible experience. <laughs>
can feel it come. Oh, and just starting right in the middle of the pitch. Not going, I, but I. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like a very sharp glottal of I. Was this I? Where it's just touched on and it's very well supported and powerful, but nothing overbearing, starting the piece off very strong on that very powerful vocal line. It's really good stuff. Coming in the air tonight. Yeah, and he's not crunching down on the R on air. Air. Yeah. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Yeah. Because you're still trying to create that nice arc and crunching down on any particular consonant would close off the sound or restrict it in some way. And you still want this opening phrase to be very open. So to go air or air, but just not closing down on the R, but keeping the vowels as open as possible. Not in terms of any like operatic technique of air, but just still maintaining that pop element. But yeah, love it. <laughs> oh Lord. The D isn't hard to Lord instead of Lord. Just Lord. More like an L O H soft D kind of sound. I love it. And that was a great effect. For this moment, for all my life. His voice is so magic. I love it. Life. Oh Lord. Oh, so good. Their harmonies are crazy. Oh, like, it's so simple, too. But just the fact that they grow together. They start on the exact same dynamic, same vowel, and just crescendo into a really not over-the-top powerful fortissimo, very loud, but just kind of grow into a mezzo forte and immediately cut it off before it extends farther. It, they don't aggrandize the dynamic any louder than it needs to be. It still fits within this the softer tone of the beginning of the piece, and ah, uh, it's so controlled and self-contained. It's so great, dude. Feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, and just the way he tapered that. Tonight. Oh, it's just so gentle. Ellie's voice is, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Lord. Just that bass throughout that, through those oh lords. Ah, uh, yeah, let's listen to that again. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Well, if you oh man, what was that effect? Oh, that was so cool. We're listening to that again. Oh lord, oh lord. Well, if you told me. And Caesar's voice is also butter. Ugh. You were drowning. Oh, the way he approached that. Yeah. There's a nice cutoff on the end because ends aren't really ground like ours are where it's very guttural and it's very forward facing of not but yeah, it, it's oh, it's so nice. The way that they're controlling all of their consonants and closing off the sound but not the musical phrase. They're Everything in this piece is so precise and well controlled. It's so satisfying. But not lend a hand. I've seen your oh, face nice. before, my friend. But I that beatboxing. Oh my gosh, I have to listen to that again. I've seen your face before, my friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this is a lot. Typically in those types of sounds, I would try to, if I were to try to replicate it, I would most likely cheat in some way where I would just create a and just use one sound and just repeat it. But, but Lane is making individual sounds stacked so well and so consistently rapidly on top of each other. And that requires a very fair amount of practice and consistency to execute so well, as well as he is especially like... Let's listen to that again. I would not lend a hand. I wouldn't I've seen your face before, ah! my friend. But I don't know if you know who I am. Well, I was there and I saw what you did. Oh 
my gosh, dude. The way that their voices are matching with each other. Ah, this unison is... Mm. Like, obviously not everybody is on the exact same note, but just to have a couple voices in unison and creating this push. Oh my gosh. You just feel the pressure of the group. Not, like, pushing you off the cliff, but you just feel this pressure pushing you against a wall. And it's nothing overwhelming, but it's like putting a heated blanket progressively being pushed onto you. And uh, there's just something so a little overwhelming, but also just very warm and something that you can just fully embrace the moment you just completely adjust to it. It's so nice. That was a great vocal run. I love it when groups do this. Just use their bodies as the percussion. And obviously a lot of groups already do this, but I feel like many groups use this not to its fullest potential. Typically I've seen a lot of groups use this just for dramatic effect, but the way that they're utilizing it here where the piece itself is still very soft and there's still so much more room to grow because they haven't really gotten into the true climax of the piece yet. You can afford to use this body percussion as a new layer of growth. And not just to say, hey, we're adding these new textures because that is what it is, but there's more layers to that where it's not just adding a new texture to the piece, but it's also adding an element of growth. It's adding an element of more crispness and unity within the group that's being expelled out into the audience, the listeners. And just this radiance, this palpable energy that's being emitted from the group out to the audience is just, oh, very, very great arrangement. Very great. Ah. And I can feel it coming in the air tonight. tonight. Like, even with this percussion, they're still so gentle in their vocal approach. It's so good. Tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. oh, that growth. Oh, Lord. Yeah, dude. Oh. Well, I've been waiting for this moment. Like, just immediately going off the sound on my, on my, lie. It gives you more of a break in between my and life. So you have that empty space to kind of register what it is that you're listening to. And then they immediately go back into it. They give you just a split second to process, which is considerate of them. I love the arrangement and because it feels like a little tease almost where, where they give you that moment of understanding. But because they immediately get back into it, it's, I'm giving you this, this beautiful opportunity to process, but the moment that you even recognize that you have that opportunity, they take it away from you. <laughs> and it's just so, oh my gosh, just their charisma in this piece is incredible. For all my life. Oh, yeah. Oh. And just going, life, just adding a little bit of it bump a little bit more contrast into life versus life adding a little bit more energy into the word instead of growing it which they could have done and it would have sounded beautiful anyway but having that little speed bump in the sound just gives it a little bit more momentum and if you're going to generate to a stronger climax you're going to utilize as much momentum as you can to really propel yourself up to that level and they're doing such an exemplary job doing this Lord, I can feel uh. it coming in the air tonight oh, Lord. oh. In the air. Oh, that vocal line just right after the main phrase from the group. Oh, it's so good, dude. So good. Oh, 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 ah, these growths, dude. Oh, 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 and pay attention to how perfect all of their vowels are together. You can't harmonize like this unless all of their mouth shape, tongue positions, and pitches are just exactly where they need to be in order to harmonize as 
one voice. Like, obviously they're all individual singing different notes, but in order to actually create a full harmonic sound where nobody's not just out of tune, but everybody's matching each other. If you guys have ever seen team sports like volleyball, hockey, etc., then each person on the field or the court or whatever has a unique responsibility that contributes to the rest of the team. And no one position is the most important. Every single position has its function, has its purpose that contributes to the success of the team. And not one person can falter because at any moment, if one person does, that could be catastrophic for the rest of the team. And the same is true for acapella groups, especially because everything is held hand in hand all the time. So when practicing, you have to say, these are the vowels we're going to do. This is when we're going to crescendo. This is when we're going to retard or have an accelerando or an acceleration in the piece. This is the kind of atmosphere that we're going to emulate or whatever the case is. You see this a lot in choirs too. When I was in university in, in the top choir, every single day that we went into that classroom and choir rehearsal was three hours a day, our choir director would always be on top of us saying, you need to have a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, you're just not gonna be a part of the, the rehearsal. <laughs> and that that's how imperative it was to not only have your music there, but to have a pencil there. Because we were just constantly annotating our music to, to the nth degree, just, <laughs> just writing, we're going to close the end here on this particular beat and this particular cadence. And this is how we're going to grow. This is where this section in particular is going to take the lead where the other sections are going to provide like there's just so much that goes into like in this case five minutes worth of music but even two minutes worth of music just having so much depth and detail in how you're structuring the piece is so pivotal in the way that you're forming your lips and the way that you're forming the tongue and in the way that you're growing and presenting the piece in a way that's professional and real and it was such a nightmare getting through practices for sure. But man, when we got on stage for performances, especially for festivals or competitions, all that frustration and hard work just bore the fruits of our labor. You know, it felt like we were actually just all of a sudden in one moment when we got on that stage and executed our piece as well. It was almost as though we didn't even know what to expect from ourselves, even though we'd been rehearsing it like crazy. It just happened. And we gave ourselves chills, let alone the rest of the audience. And it was just magic. So the fact that they're doing this in this piece, oh my gosh, it, it's so, so tight. It's impregnable, unassailable as to how well arranged and how well executed they're doing this piece. Yeah. Oh, remember. Closing out the M and making that B A H instead of remember, remember, yeah, and just letting that fade out before coming right back into it. Really great choice. Again, it's a little bit of that tease of processing, but immediately coming back in. Yeah, and just having Lane be that surprise where we don't hear him sing his vocal line yet. So just to have this moment of, wow, that was a really great growth and it's echoing. And then we don't know what to expect after it, but this was not what we expected. Maybe some solo vocal line, maybe a more powerful climax. We have no idea, but to have everything just close in on the beatboxer of all people, that's a really great choice. It's very, it's a very pleasant surprise. How could I ever forget? It's the first time, the last time. The oh, in that beatboxing, where it's just so guttural. <coughs> like, just having this. <coughs> yeah, it adds this kind of muted bass tone while we're more in this mezzo piano, this medium softness energy, but we can feel it bubbling. We can feel the fire under us. 
and we know that it can explode at any time, but we're just still holding on to the soft energy. It's very deceptive, and we can feel that deception coming. Oh, but that's what adds to that mystery. That's what adds to that seduction, that intrigue. I love it. We ever met, It's just so tight, dude. These these harmonies so incredible. Well, the heart doesn't show, but the pain still grows. It's no stranger to you and me. Oh, it's just so clean, so exact, and it's so robust. These sounds, man, so good. Oh, and that snare. I can't replicate it as intense as Lane can, but you get my idea. That's so good. My gosh, this drum kit is incredible, but just the fact that all the rest of the group is just still being so consistent like they were in the beginning of the piece in more of this higher energy, louder dynamic section where they're all just still having these elements of sharp cutoffs and allowing that small break to process and immediately coming back in to grow. Ah, oh, it's so good, dude, and it's still so tight. Waiting for this moment for all Like, these vocal runs from everybody in the group, but especially Jane. Oh my gosh, dude. So incredible. They're not screaming these notes. They're not so powerful. It still feels very restrained. Like, to to a degree, it, it doesn't feel unfettered yet. It still feels like we're in that beginning section where they're just not completely letting loose the dogs that they're restraining inside of them. But they're just, <laughs> like, even in this powerful moment, that you just still feel this air of seduction and you're like, oh, I need so much more from you in this moment. <laughs> but at the same time, what they're providing is more than enough but you still want more. And that's what is so mesmerizing is they're just giving you everything you want, but they're also not at the same time. And it's creating this very interesting dichotomy. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's so like very few groups are able to pull this off at the level that they're executing it right now. And it's so amazing. Ah! Just these little accents. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, and that bass line is, while very powerful and very present, isn't histrionic. It's not overwhelming and it's not so in your face. You can tell it's there and, oh, you feel it, but it's just not overpowering anybody else. It's not taking its own line. It's just an extension of the musical phrase that contributes to the rest of the group. And, oh, it's so good. This arrangement is incredible. Could I ever forget? Oh, that unison, dude. To execute a unison in your chest voice on that high of a note at that dynamic. We're listening to that one more time. It was that amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Just, 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 oh my gosh, I'm shaking. That's why I can't pause the video. <laughs> that was, it just chills, man, chills. Oh, 
all of their energy. They're just playing so well off of each other. I, this is so good. <laughs> And just that, ba -da 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 -da. just again, adding little accents to the rest of the piece, but oh my gosh, it's everything's just, this entire piece is just a beautiful coalescence of different themes and textures. Oh, it's so just magic. Well, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Just the way he approaches that, where he leads into it with a little vocal fry. I've been like, well, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. For all my life. Yeah, aw, oh, dude, just. Uh. Every single member in this group has <laughs> exemplified this high level of charisma <laughs> in some kind of fashion individually. But man, all together, just. <laughs> I've been talking about seduction throughout this video, and man, each and every one of them is just all contributing to the group seduction, but man, when they have their vocal lines by themselves, well, not by themselves, but when they have their lead lines and the focus is on them, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> just, it tugs, it tugs at my heartstrings. Yeah, and that's what I was referring to earlier before we got into the analysis, where that note could have been very grounded, very supported, and very loud, because we all know what Jeff is capable of in terms of projecting those kinds of bass notes. But man, he just, he's so smooth with it. There's still that sandpaper texture, but you're just very gently rubbing over it. You're not grinding into it, but you just you just feel that softness coming through it. Oh my gosh, what a great choice there. Yeah. Oh, the nice. F is a very difficult consonant to immediately cut off on because F can be held on for a long time. Very similar to things like S's of these are consonants that you would typically taper, but man, just the, how clean they're cutting it off. This moment for all my life. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, oh, so exact. Lord. Oh, and just that D. Lord. And just having that gentle touch of the D at the end. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so gentle in the way that they just approach each of their notes, each of their musical cadences, the entire piece as a whole. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so well rehearsed and so well executed. And the arrangement is so great. And everybody contributes to the, to the full function of the piece. And that's what makes this piece excellent. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments. I do read all of the comments, even if I might not hard to reply to all of them. So please just know that your comments do not go unnoticed. My live streams are Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you'd like to stop by, say hey, or if you'd like to talk about ideas or philosophy or psychology or pretty much anything, I'd be more than happy to be there for you and to talk with you about it. I, I tried making it for a couple of hours, but my throat really hurts and my battery doesn't last that long. Well, it does, but just barely. So they're gonna be more like 90 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> I deeply appreciate all of you being here. It really does mean a lot to me and I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.